It's been a while, so you know I must have been up to something, because uh, I usually like to be quiet when uh, I'm up to things, but I bought a brand new car today, uh, 2007 to be exact, because I figure I'm only going to get one new car in my life, and I might as well get exactly what I want, uh, get it out of my system, because probably after this is paid off, it'll be nothing but $400 rolling pieces of uh, body fill on the road, so I might as well get what I want, get it out of my system, and... Uh, well, I'm still young and can pay for it. So, uh, first thing you'll notice is, uh, giving you the little tours, here's the key for it. Well, it's not exactly the key, but it's part of it. It's got your lock, unlock, hood release, and the key actually, this little square thing pops out of it, like a switchblade. Or like if, when you were a kid, those cool switchblade combs that you had, but, uh, like that. And, uh, well, you might be able to see it's got the Volkswagen logo on it, because... I support the Germans, and I got a Volkswagen. Uh, I ordered it about a week ago, showed up today, uh, like a handful of kilometers on it, so it's brand new out of the factory, not one of these ones that was test driven. Driving it home for the first time was a bit of an experience. I couldn't find, uh, what was the first thing I couldn't find? First thing, you know, brand new car, you want to just not crash it is the most important thing. Uh, I couldn't, uh, I knew where the blinkers were. It's a good thing it wasn't raining because I still don't know how to use the wipers on it yet. Um, I eventually figured out how to use cruise control. Uh, I had cold air blowing on me the whole time and no matter what heat settings I seemed to put the the thermostat at, it was always seemed to be blowing cold air and then after pressing many buttons I figured out where the heat was. But I have heated seats so that's a good thing. Uh, no car starter. That's a bit of a letdown. But, uh, because I was getting pretty spoiled by the car starter, walk, you know, waking up in the morning, snow and frost on the car, start the car up for 15 minutes, hop in a nice warm car, but uh, because of the intense security standards of Volkswagen, it, they don't install them and they don't recommend them being installed, aftermarket factory ones at least, uh, well it would have to be aftermarket factory ones because they don't install them. I came home in the dark, it took me a while to figure out how to turn on the headlights, like the daytime running lights are always on, but I couldn't figure out how to turn on like the main headlights with the tail lights running at the same time, high and low beam. Uh, it comes with fog lights, I see the little button there that was for fog lights to turn them on, but I couldn't figure out how to turn them on. I could pull the button out to make the headlights come on, but I couldn't get the dial to turn down there, and then I figured out, oh, that's all you need to do is uh, pull the button out and the fog lights are on, so there's one thing figured out. Um, coming home, there's a toll bridge, and I knew there was a toll bridge, which I had my tokens already, I was very prepared for the toll bridge until I got up to it and I realized I did not have to turn the windows down, because it's all power windows, and I wasn't sure which buttons were. I luckily found it in time after rolling down the passenger side window multiple times and getting mine stuck halfway, but I got through the toll booth okay. Um, another problem... I wouldn't say it was a problem, but uh, I haven't figured out how to lock the car yet. I know how to turn the alarm on, uh, accidentally, many times, but I haven't figured out how to lock the car yet. But uh, before I say anything else, we'll go take a little tour of the car right now. This is not my car. This is actually my brother's car, or as I like to call it, the Chinese takeout wagon. My car is around the corner. All right, here we are inside the car, and... Uh First thing you'll notice is, look how freaking long the dash is. When I took this car for a test drive, uh, that's the first thing I noticed, like, that the window starts, like, I can't even reach the window. It's, like, probably at least two and a half feet long. Easily. Anyway, uh, let's see, uh, car stereo, MP3 capabilities, uh, if you got a iPod or whatever, you can plug it in down here in the little storage compartment. Your cigarette lighter or 12 volt electrical thing. Um, heated seats, both the uh, driver and passenger side. Uh, hazard light, nothing special there. Oh, a lot of people didn't know about this, but they see beetles that have these flowers in them. It's because it comes with a flower pot. That's what that is. It, it's actually, a, I don't know if you want to call it a feature or part of the car, but it comes with a flower pot. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stick it in there, maybe a pen or something. I'll find something useful for it. Um, uh, cruise control. Uh, 
wipers over here that automatically come on when it senses rain. Uh, everything's power. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Uh, you got up here is a self-dimming mirror. When the car's behind me and the headlights shine on the mirror, it'll dim on its own. Uh, clock and outside temperature up there. It took me a while to figure out how to turn it to uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. But in the process, I think I also changed it from standard time to army time. Uh, let's see. Oh, sunroof. I could have the car on, but that's all power, too. I think that's about all the stuff that's inside the car. I'm going to get a little, a little armrest here. But, you know, what to do? Got my bridge tokens in there, and cup holders underneath. Another 12 volt power supply. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of room in the back, but let's see what else. I think that's all the. Oh yeah, the lovely uh, dealership floor mats that are like millimeters thin, but if you were to buy them, there'd be like 80 bucks a set, if not more. Gauge in the dash. Feel. Start it up. Uh, the cool thing about the car is the, the transmission, though, because you know it's a standard autom uh, it's a you know, normal automatic transmission, you know, park, reverse, neutral, drive, but it's also got a sport setting down here that makes the, uh, it shifts gear at a higher uh, RPM, which gives it like a sportier feel. But not only that, it's a Triptronic transmission, because you put it in drive and you shift it over to here, shift it over, it automatically puts it in like a, I don't know if you can make that out in the camera or not, but almost like a standard transmission where you can actually shift from you know, first to second, and down, I can only go, can't go past second where I'm only in park, but that's how that works, the first, second, third, that's only for playing around and having fun, I guess, but I like it, it's a neat feature of the car. Yeah, I'm not sure where uh, the logic was behind me choosing a Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, everyone that knows me was sort of, 50% uh, would have said they were shocked by me getting a car like that, and the other half were completely complacent with it, saying, you know, it's something right up my alley, but uh, um, I figured I'm only going to, like I said before, it's only going to be one car in my life, I might as well get something different, something unique. Um, Anyone that's ever owned a Beetle or and they've seen it, they, you, they always have that story like, I used to own a car like that. Nobody cares about people that own, uh, uh, you know, Geo Metros and uh, Sunfires and everything else. They're just normal everyday cars. So Volkswagen Beetle's a little something different. It's one of those cars that you either like it or you hate it. Um, a lot of guys that told me that, you know, it's a girl car, I don't fucking care, it's like, it's got room for my purse in the back there, are you happy now? Um, I'm, I'm comfortable in my uh, masculinity and where I am in life, that I don't have to worry about driving a car, though I would not drive a PT Cruiser, those are girl cars. Anyway, uh, a couple things I didn't show that was in, you know, the features of the car, 16 inch wheels, uh, the seats in it are kind of cool, they're barbershop. Uh, yeah, barbershop seats that they have this like little pump handle on the side that you can you know, like it, as you pump it that actually raises you up in the seat or you can pump it down and it's got like lumbar lumbar support. Uh, it's it's very comfortable and it's, it's a very quiet car and uh, I just came home from work tonight and it was snowing out and it surprisingly didn't handle that bad in the snow. Like uh, it's a brand new car so I probably drove like an old lady coming home because I do not want to wreck that car before it's paid off. I will I will cry. And if I do cry, I'll record it, and you can all enjoy it. But uh, uh, it seems to plow an awful lot of snow because it's very low, and I seem to see uh, a lot of snow shooting out in front of me rather than behind me. And uh, I had to use wipers a lot more than what I'm used to, too, because the windshield is slanted down so far. But uh, it's a very nice car. It's, I'm happy with it. It's, uh, for the last couple of days, I have not even been at work. I, well, I've been there physically, but mentally I've been in my car just how I'm driving. That's my big news for the day, and that's the end of this blog.